Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this physics tutorial series in class 11 physics. I am solving the problems of the book NCERT physics part 1 of class 11. So in this video, we will solve the problem number 2.17 from the chapter number 2. In this problem, we are given that 1 mole of an ideal gas. Suppose this is for an ideal gas, we have to consider 1 mole at standard temperature and pressure occupies 22.4 liter that is the molar volume that means we have to consider an ideal gas and we are given that at standard temperature and standard pressure it occupies this much of molar volume 22.4 liter of molar volume it is given in liter unit first of all you have to consider this liter unit into meter cube then we are asked to find out what is the ratio we have to find out the find out the ratio of the molar volume to the atomic volume so first of all we have to find out the molar volume in meter cube then we have to find out the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen now we have to find out the atomic volume similar to the previous case in our last tutorial video of 2.16 problem solution we have also find out here also we will find out the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen now we are given that take the size of hydrogen molecule to be one angstrom so this one angstrom is the this is the size that is the diameter of the hydrogen atom okay now we have to state why is the ratio is so large so first of all we have to understand that is the molar volume is given in 22 liter units so we have to convert this liter into meter cube why meter cube we have to convert because whenever we will be finding out the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen that will come in meter cube unit okay so you have to remember that one liter this is equal to 1000 centimeter cube or in meter if we express it will be equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube that means one liter is equivalent to the 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube of volume okay now we have to find out the or we have to express the molar volume the given molar volume that is 22.4 liter in this meter cube we have to express therefore we are given that molar volume is equal to this is equal to 22.4 liter 22.4 liter so we have to multiply with this 10 to the power minus 3 so here we'll have 22.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 this much of meter cube that means this is the molar volume of an ideal gas okay now we are given in the question that the size of the hydrogen molecule is one angstrom diameter of hydrogen so we are given the diameter of hydrogen suppose small d this is equal to one angstrom that is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter so this is the conversion from the atomic unit of angstrom to the unit meter now we have to find out the radius of the hydrogen suppose it is represented with small r and this small r is equal to diameter divided by 2 so we will have this is 1 by 2 is nothing but 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter so this is the radius of the hydrogen atom now we have to find out the volume of single hydrogen atom therefore we can find out the volume of one hydrogen atom assuming the hydrogen atom to be spherical in shape we will have the formula that is 4 by 3 into pi r cube so 4 by 3 is this one is a constant that pi is 3.14 this is another constant then r cube r value we have found out this one okay so let me use another color so r cube here we have 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 10 this much of cube so if we multiply similar to the previous case we will get 5.234 into 10 to the power minus 
31 meter cube. This is the volume of single hydrogen atom. Volume of single hydrogen atom is this much. Suppose this is denoted with capital V. Now we have to find out the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen. Before that, we have to find out what is one mole of hydrogen. So one mole of hydrogen will contain Avogadro's number of hydrogen atoms. Okay. So number of molecules in one mole of hydrogen will be equal to the Avogadro's number. So what is the Avogadro number? 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. So this many molecules are there in one mole of hydrogen. So this is nothing but suppose capital N denoted by capital N. That is the number of molecules in one mole of hydrogen is denoted by capital N. Now we have to find out the volume of one mole of hydrogen. That means we have to find out this many number of hydrogen atom with the volume of single hydrogen atom. Then we will have the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen. Okay. So now let us write down here. Suppose this is V prime okay this is the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen one mole of hydrogen contains 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 this many numbers of hydrogen atoms okay so here we'll have therefore we can write v dash will be equal to the number of atoms that is capital n into the volume of single hydrogen atom that is capital v so here we'll have this is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into V is 5.234 into 10 to the power minus 31. So this will be the atomic volume of one mole of hydrogen. That is, so if we multiply, we will have 3.152 into 10 to the power minus 7 this much of meter cube that means one mole of hydrogen atom will have this much of atomic volume so we have got the atomic volume now we have to find out the ratio of the molar volume to the atomic volume molar volume means at standard temperature standard pressure it is given as 22.4 liter and we have expressed it in meter cube so this is the molar volume we have to this molar volume divided by the volume of one mole of hydrogen atom so now let us find out the ratio therefore we can find out the ratio to be so if we divide this here in the numerator we'll have this is 22.4 liter if we express in meter cube we'll have 22.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 this much of meter cube and in the denominator atomic volume we have found out to be this much Okay, this is the value. So we have to put in the denominator 3.152 into 10 to the power minus 7. So if we divide these two numbers, we will have the value to be 7.1 into 10 to the power 4. 7.1 into 10 to the power 4. This does not have any unit because this is a ratio. Okay, this is a number. Now we have to explain why this ratio is so large. In the question we are asked about why this ratio is so large. Why this ratio is so large. We have to now explain this part. So let me write down first. Now I have written here that the, this ratio is large due to large intermolecular separation. That means whenever we find out the molar volume, we will have a gas in room temperature, suppose standard temperature, standard pressure, and we have found out the volume to be 22.4 liter. That is, this volume of hydrogen has the atomic volume as well as the atomic separation and you know that the hydrogen is a very light gas that means the molecular separation is very large and this is the reason therefore i have written here this ratio is large due to the large intermolecular separation in a gas and hydrogen is a very light gas and then the size of the molecule that means in comparison to the size of the molecule the intermolecular separation is very large therefore we have got a very high ratio this is the solution of the problem number 2.17 from the chapter number 2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you